Tonight, one of Maine's largest bus companies says it is considering banning Customs and Border Protection agents from searching its buses without a warrant. Those searches have been going on for years, but a recent decision to not allow them on buses run by a much larger company is prompting Concord Coach to take a second look. New Center Maine's Zach Blanchard reports. Border Patrol officials say a move like this could prevent them from doing their jobs, but advocates say it's about time. After over a year of controversial video and protests, Concord coach lines pumping the brakes, now considering banning immigration checks on its buses. This comes just days after National Bus Line Greyhound announced its plans to ban agents from questioning passengers without warrants. The same company many asylum seekers have used to get to Maine from other parts of the country. Most of these people, they travel by bus. Dama Rugaba with the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center says it's the right thing to do. You have to fear to travel or to get out of the house for fear of being arrested. That's not something that anyone should live through. We have been saying this for a long time. The American Civil Liberties Union of Maine has been pressing the bus company for the last year, releasing this letter urging Concord to act months ago. They're targeting people who don't speak English or who speak with an accent. And that racial profiling is completely unacceptable in our society. Border Patrol officials deny any racial profiling and say agents have been doing routine bus checks in Maine for decades. It is what it is and we're going to continue to do our job. So we're going to ensure the safety of the United States of America and her people. Concord Coachline saying in a statement to New Center Maine, we're going to be consulting with our national association and with legal counsel. Our foremost concern remains the safety of our passengers. But advocates say that means defending their passengers too. I hope that Concord makes the right decision. Now this all started because of a leaked internal memo confirming Border Patrol agents cannot board buses without the company's consent. Executives with Concord Coach declined an interview saying they're still working with their legal team. In Portland, Zach Blanchard, New Center, Maine.